No smoke without fire, they say. I thought as much. Because you sounded so urgent. You sounded so high on phone. No. Your Majesty. My wife, the Queen, is the problem. Queen? Our Queen? Yes. Mm. When was the last time you spoke with uh, our daughter, Adak? Mm. That was um. That was two days ago. Mm. Yeah, two days ago. I hope there's no problem. Uh, no problem. Okay. Yes, she called uh, minutes ago and she sounded urgent and pained. She needs money. So tomorrow I will give you money to send to her. You can as well send it to my account now. Let me do a transfer to her. It's the same thing. Tomorrow I give you the money. Then you send it to her. The important thing is that she gets the money. That will be all. Mm. Oh, Your Majesty. Um, yeah. That reminds me, Your Majesty. Yes. Uh, I hope you sent my brother the money I asked you to send to him. <clears throat> Let me ask you one question. Go ahead, I'm listening. Do you recall the number of times I gave your brother money for his business. Your Majesty, eh? the way you're just mentioning this money, money, like you gave him heaven and earth. I mean, does it matter? It doesn't really matter. Mm hmm I know what you're trying to say is one thing or the other, but please, 
He infested when you gave him those manates. And what he planned didn't work. I mean, at times, we'll invest money in different businesses thinking it will work the way we planned, but in the end, it will not work. Doesn't mean we did not invest wisely. That's exactly what happened to my brother. He invested thinking it will yield fruit, but it didn't work. So, <laughs> reduce the level of the money you mentioned. That did not look like you've given him heaven and earth. You know, sometimes... I, I just would not help to keep myself in check listening to, to the vomit coming from your mouth. I want you to take your mind back. Back to the first time you brought your brother to me. Request him for money for his business. How much did I give him? Five million naira. Five million naira, which he squandered. He squandered it. It's not a question of investing wisely or not wisely. He simply squandered it. You people came back a second time. How much did I give him? Three million naira. I was really pained and before I gave out that money because I asked and discovered that he just went junketing he went on a spending spree with my money he didn't put it in the business we know where he, he put it his hair. Yes. Trying to look good for his women. And that was not all. The third, third time you came back with him, you came crawling on all fours, kneeling, begging, genuflecting. How much did I give him again? Another three million. What kind of a human being is he? And what kind of a man actually brings out all that money every time? You forget that I, we have our primary responsibilities. We have these kids. We have these children we pay their school fees for. We pay for their upkeep. I take care of the family. I don't have money again for such extravagant people. And to think that he is a graduate. Ah! Are you done, Your Majesty? That will be all. Whoops! Your long salmon. Very long, just because I mentioned my brother. <laughs> wow. But I was waiting for you to share the grace. I almost fell on the anointing listening to your salmon just because I asked you to help my brother. Well, since you're done with your salmon and you forgot to share the grace, Allow me to share the grace for you, but I will start with, surely. God, goodness and mercies are following us all the days of our lives. 
as you dwell in the house of the Lord in front of you, you are drinking alcohol forever. Amen. Now take a look at what you're saying. Recalling how many times you gave my brother money. Five million. Three million. Three million. Why? Because I am asking you to support my brother. You have called him names. Wow. Have you forgotten your result that I saw? My matters F9. But now your brain is wide open because it's my brother. We are talking about my brother. We are talking about money, supporting him. You will now recall. If it were to be your relative, ah, hey, hey. Mention anything as Father Christmas you are. You will throw. You will throw. You will throw. You will not even remember how many times they've bet. But my brother. Mm -mm. Point of correction. Mm -hmm. There is no relative of mine that I have given money repeatedly. <laughs> and there is no relative of mine that is that extravagant. No relative of mine that is that irresponsible. I hear you. In law to irresponsible man. Calm down. You see this matter. I will not rest. Till I see that my brother is financially stable and buoyant. That's when I will cheat. But for now, we're going to talk him. You must give him the money. Mom. What is wrong? Hmm? You've been so moody since I came back yesterday. What's the matter? What's going on? Oh, aren't you happy to see me? Why would I talk like that? Why would I not be happy seeing my angel? Your father is a problem here. What, what did daddy do? Why don't you go and ask him? Aren't you his favorite again? Find out from him. Mom. Okay. Not a problem, Mom. I'm going to ask him. Okoro, bring out the car. Hmm, I was going out, but come on, let's sit down. Let's let's talk. Yes, my dear. Daddy, um, ever since I returned from school yesterday, mommy has been unusually moody. So I, I asked her what the problem is. And she opened up to me. She said she has been pleading with you to give my uncle some money to boost his business. But that you refused. I might not know the reason behind your refusal. But I usually don't like to see mommy in this mood. So I'm here to to plead to your conscience to try and do something about this, please. Ah. <sighs> Adako. 
Um. I am talking with you this way because I know that you are very, very understanding and reasonable. Thank you, Dante. Oh, your mother. There are other things she didn't tell you. She didn't tell you I have been giving your, your uncle Frank money. But let me put it this way. Since your uncle graduated, I have been giving him money through your mother. Cumulatively, I have given your uncle a whooping sum of 11 million naira. 11 million naira, which is squandered. I don't know where that money, all that money, I don't know where the, it is today, what he has done with it. The only thing I see in him is his hair. I think the 11 million naira was spent on his hair. He cares so much about his look before the women. So he frittered the money away on women, on partying, on frivolous things. Daddy. Is mom aware? Because yes. 11 million is a whole lot of money. Yes. It's a whole lot of money. If I take out 11 million naira from my business, what is left of it? 11 million naira. Yes, and your mother is aware. Um, I'm really, I'm really surprised to hear this. I, I genuinely didn't know that you have invested this much. Um, but Daddy, can I suggest something? I'm all ears. Dad, I mean, given the circumstance, you know, I will just want to appeal to you to look within your heart and try to raise him something very, I mean, it doesn't matter how much, no matter how little, just something to support him this last time, at least so everyone can be happy. Please. Everyone cannot be happy, not with Frank. Frank is like a big hole, a chasm. No matter the quantity of sand you put in there, you, anytime you look, you won't find any sand. It's like a sea, a sea into which you're pouring bags of salt. Each time the poor you taste, the sea will never taste of salt. Anyway, I've heard what you said, my dear. I've heard you. I will think about it. Thank you so much, Daddy. 
Thank you. Um, since you're going out, I'll just, you know, let you go so I don't eat so much of your time. So I'm free to go out now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Daddy, you're free to go. Thank you, Daddy. Yeah, well, that will Have come. a nice day. Yes, yes. Oh. Yes. <laughs> Maybe a peg. Mm. Daddy, I love you. Oh, all right. Um, where is he? Yeah, the car is here. All right, my dear. Your Majesty, good day, sir. Anthony. Uncle. How are you? I'm fine, sir. Thank you, Majesty. Yes, you we were speaking on phone and I didn't quite get you. That's why I asked that you come in physically. Yes, let me hear you clearly. Your Majesty, it's about my traveling abroad. I've done everything. So, I am here to inform you that what is remaining now is my flight tickets and the money I'll have in hand. Congratulations. Thank you. Which country are we talking about? Uh, USA, Your Majesty. I see. USA. And how much? Four million naira, sir. Four million naira. Tony. Uncle. Send your account details. Today and I'll credit your account with four million naira. Thank you, Your Majesty. Uncle, thank you. Don't don't thank just you. get excited like that, Tony. I mean, uh, maybe he's not telling you the truth. There is no money, Tony. You know how this country is now. Everywhere is so tight. So my advice is, leave this your trip to abroad. Postpone it till next year and then that time I'm sure Iwe will be able to sponsor you. But for now, <laughs> I'm not sure he'll be able to do that. My queen, uh, you do me, you do this now. Tony. Tony. You heard what I said. Send your account details. Okay. I'll pray. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Your Majesty, thank you once again. In, in fact, let me send it now, sir. Hello, Frank. Frank, where are you? I'm asking you, where are you at the moment? All right, now listen to me. I want you to drop whatever thing you're doing. I would like to see you here. What? You won't be able to make it? My friend, I'm telling you to come to the palace right now. Listen, it's about the money you said I should help you beg my husband to give you, right? Now listen, he's in the spirit of sharing money. 
So I would like you to come today. If possible, right now. Okay, fine. You will come in the evening. Make sure you don't miss it. Now that he's sharing money, so you can get your own share. I've told you now. It's all right. Okay, okay, my own people. And what is that supposed to mean? You've been idle. I see. Tell me, how do you actually do your business? I mean, uh, do you have a policy of keeping some of your money uh, aside? That is, keeping some money aside. Do you have that kind of policy? I don't, I don't, I don't know that policy. I put all the money inside the business. Eh. Uh. And now you you don't really have money. Yes, so that's actually what it is. <sighs> Save yourself all that explanation, Frank. <sighs> you know what I've been looking at you? I've been looking at you to see. Assess the level of seriousness in you as a human being created by God. Level of seriousness. Business acumen in somebody that really wants to do business. Because you're a, a business graduate, right? Yes. Good. I didn't believe that a human being created with a good head would ever let himself slide to this pitiable condition. You don't have money. You're looking for money. You're idle. And you're saying it. And you're looking for more money. Look at yourself. Look at you. You still you still go about with with is, is that is that earring there on your ear? Is that what you still go about with? Look at look at you. Look at your hair, Frank. And see the cap, the way you're putting on your cap. And your hair. Is that how the hair of a serious businessman should look like? Oh, I see. Okay, that's how international businessmen look like. That's what they look like. And they, they, all of a sudden, they want more money. And they must go get that more money from the same source that had given them pumped money into their business. Frank, whatever that happened to the 11 million Naira I gave you, 11 million Naira, disappeared into thin air and you have the gods to stand before me Talk about more money. Are you not ashamed of yourself? Are you not ashamed of yourself? I gave you 11 million Naira. Frank, 11 million Naira. And you don't have, you don't have it. And you're here seeking for more money. Oh, oh my God. The more, I, the more I speak, the angrier I get. And you still want more money from me. More money, Frank. 
More money for what? You should be ashamed of yourself. Ashamed of yourself. What did I say? You should be ashamed of yourself. You know what you're going to do? Go back home. Prepare a detailed account of how you spent that 11 million naira. At least that 11 million. I'm done with this going in. So you're not going to give my brother money? Is that what you're saying? Your Majesty, is that what you're saying? After abusing him, telling him earrings, hair and everything, you're not going to give him money. You didn't see his shaboyka as well for you to talk about it. Put your earrings back, suits you. Don't worry. Don't worry. You see that money? He will give you that money. <laughs> I will torment him. Just are you sure about this? I, I need what do you this mean? money. Oh. I know. I know. You, if you finally get this one, at least now. Hmm? At least. Maybe I'm trying my best. I know you're trying. Nice. It's not easy. This is difficult. I know. Majesty, why are you like this? Why are you so mean to my brother? I'm asking you, why are you so heartless? What is so difficult in you giving my brother that money? How much is he even asking you to give him? Ordinary, eight million naira. Hey! But your brother's son just came here. Immediately he opened his mouth. You did not even allow him to land. You asked him, send your account number. Send your account number. Immediately you wired the money to his account right before me. And you're treating your in-law like that. That's wickedness. You see that, Tony? You see that, Tony? Tony is a responsible boy. Mm. Tony... He's a good boy. Tony is respectable. Mm -hmm. Yes. Listen, you see that four million naira I gave Tony? Watch it in the next one year. You'll see what he's going to do with it. Unlike your brother. Your useless brother. Your extra vacant brother. How much has he taken? How much have I given him? Within months. A matter of months. All of it gone. Gone. Why would they not go? The question is, why would they not go? Had it been you gave him enough money, would the money go? No! The money vanished. That's because you didn't give him anything. Then, you gave him little money. Then give him the money. Are you mocking me After or what? After all, he is your brother. That's what I'm saying. Are you mocking me or what? If I had that money, I would have given to my brother to save him from this insult. Oh. Oh. You don't have eight million naira for your brother? And you're making all this noise. No wonder. Birds of the same feathers. Mm. Listen, please. Let me be. I need to rest mm. now. Mm. Please. You want to rest? I will not allow you to rest. King of universe. You that owns the whole world I do not have. What do I do? Am I not your wife? Who is supposed to give me money? Is it not you? I do not have it. You that have the money, give to your in-law. It's a shame on your side. Aja Campo. My daughter. I have heard you. I have heard you loud 
and clear. I have not said I'm not going to give him that eight million naira. After all, I've given him more, more than that repeatedly. The point I'm making is let him show me an account, something that is written about what he did with the money I gave him before. You understand? It's not just bring money, give, bring money, give down the, you know, money just disappears like that. If I see it, then I will now be impelled to bring out more money and give him. That's just the point. Anything outside that, I'm not bringing out my kopo, okay? Daddy, I understand. I understand all you've said. But all I'm asking is for you to talk to mom. Talk to her in a way she will understand. Daddy, she's your wife. I know you have a way through to her heart. I know you, 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 you know the right time and the right things to say to her. That's all I'm asking. Talk it over. Mm. You don't know your mother. You don't know your mother. However, my dear, I've heard you. It's all right. It's all right. Okay? Just relax. Relax your mind about this. Huh? Now tell me, when are you going back to school? Because I know you've, uh, you must be coming close to the end of your holidays. Well, I intend to go back. Wednesday? So soon? Mm -hmm. So soon? Not so soon, Daddy. I've been here a while. I ain't too tired of seeing my face. So soon. <laughs> I can never be tired of seeing my lovely, darling daughter. All right, so make a list of your needs in school. Mm -hmm. so I'll give you the money. Yes! <laughs> I trust you. Daddy, thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, darling, don't I know. Uh, <laughs> okay, so Daddy, let me just go in and take my shower. Yes. While I wait for you to come inside. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. Hmm. Ah. I know that's what I've been passing through. In the hands of my wife and her brother. Hakurum Noko. Hakurum Noko. Dangling in between two deep seas. Try. Tell me. Tell me. What have I done to my wife? That she will not allow me to drink water and keep down the cup in my house. Get it from No. Just. I have given a so called brother a whooping total of. 11 million naira. Guinea! Yeah. Which he is, he is, he is squandered. He frittered away on inconsequentials like women drink, partying, and what have you. 11 million naira. Hi! Mm. And today, my wife is holding me hostage. Holding me hostage and 
forcing me to bring back my money and give to the young man. It wasn't a very good name. Even if I have the money, I am not giving. I am not giving. I can't get you any from this year. Today, I prepared, wore my garment, my vestment as Igwe, about to step out of my house. My wife locked the door, locking me in, preventing me, the Igwe, from stepping out and going out of the house. What? No. Your Majesty, this is the height of it. Go, 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 go. Wait, 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 wait. Your wife locked you inside this place, thereby depriving you from going out. No, 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 no. That was why I started calling you to come and rescue me. Uh-uh. Your Majesty, you look at the Asibi Pope, you must hear this. Mm. She heard your voice. When she heard your voice, she now released the king. He says, slap on the entire kingdom. We will not take it. Your Majesty, I think, I think there's no need of uh, watching you die in silence. I am still the Prime Minister of this kingdom. I will make sure I inform those that are supposed to know. First of all, I will inform the third entire cabinet members and all your subjects. I mean the community at large. I will make sure that everybody hear it. This singular action is a slap on the face of an entire kingdom. She must therefore pay. Yes, she will pay. I will make sure she pay for what she has done. I know. I know. I don't like you. Hmm. Why 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 It has always been your principle. Oh God. Oh, it come on, I hear you, me, me, sing lady, you know, no, 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 Because nobody will remove your, your dress to see that you're wearing a dirty under things. My sing lady, the near, my panty, the near. Oh, why, oh, why, oh. That has always been your words your way. And I like that great wisdom. That's why I come near you all the time to hear from you. But in this case now, I'm not comfortable with these actions. However, Your Majesty, if he says so, from all you said, Your Majesty, I understand that, that your brother-in-law is a graduate and that he read business administration. Yes, that's why I, <laughs> I was surprised that he couldn't manage even simple one-man business. Hmm, that one. Some people are like that, Your Majesty. And they may not be able to do well in their private business, but when they work for others, they put in the best. Um, I have a suggestion to make. If only you will allow me. Oh, yeah, that's why I called you. Let me hear you. Thank you. Employ that your brother-in-law in your company and place him on monthly salary. I mean, pay him every month. By then, you can now <laughs> monitor him closely. I believe that will even give you the opportunity to know him too well. 
and monitor him properly so that you can cope this all these uh, extravagant lives is living. Oh, no. This is this is not a Take the rat and bring the rat inside the house where you have bags and bags of beans and rice and all that. Eh? Will my money be safe? Your Majesty, uh, yes, there's a slight difference here. Very slight difference. Our people say, Nankita Adia Atong, where you're known. He's not the only one working in your company. Therefore, he cannot mess up with your money and go without being noticed. It's not possible that he will useless your money this time around. You will, will be in firm control of both the money, the investment, and himself. Thank you, Majesty. Okay. Kainene. 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 Stay there. Yes. Call your brother. Uh, ask him to meet me in the office. Are you going to give him money? Tell him what I just said now. No problem, Your Majesty. No problem. Problem. I'm going to call him right away. Hello, Frank. Can you hear me? Yes, listen. I don't know what you're doing at the moment, but whatever it is, forget about it. My husband said I should tell you to come meet him in the office. Of course, he just left now. Just go, 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 go. I don't know, but you have to go. Frank, listen, make sure you are there at least in the next two hours. All right. Okay, then. Frank, I've really taken our time to study you, look at you, feel you, see what you're doing. Buying and selling is not your thing, I can assure you. Not even general business, not minding that you studied business management in the university. If I give you another money now, for that your business, that money, we go down, it will vanish. So here is what I have decided to do for you. Because you're my own person, my brother-in-law. I'm going to employ you in my company. I can even make you 
the general manager of this company and pay you well. You'll be getting at least you'll be assured of regular monthly pay and that you can save. Uncle, um, I've heard what you said, but what you just said right now is not what I plan for my life. I have big plans for myself. It's all right, I will, I will um, sleep over this and get back to you. Look at you. Look at this one. Frank, do you think I am begging you? Go out there, you have hundreds of them. Hundreds of folks like you. Just looking for employment like this one. And they're not getting it. But here you are getting it on a platter of gold. You're, you're exercising some lackadaisical attitude over it. See, I'll give you two days. At the expiration of two days, you do not return here to pick up that appointment, then forget it. You may leave my office now. Uncle, like I said, I, I, when I get home, I'll, I'll think, think about this too. Is this not what I want? of a boy is this? What kind of person is he? Is he concrete in his head? Has he real brain? Does he even think? So that was the reason he called you? To come and see him in the office? Just for you to become the company's ordinary manager? Can, can you imagine that? No, oh, imagine that. Me, Frank, graduate of business admin to become um, an ordinary staff in my own in-laws company. I'm telling you! That's an insult. That's an insult. What about my stees? Now what? What are you going to do? I was really mad about this. That's why I had to come to tell you about it. You know? I was, I was, I was angry. Freaking angry. Frank, you'll take it off. What? You will accept it. Listen, accept the offer. No problem. Start. I... Then, when it didn't go the way we expected, then we'll now have a plan B. We'll have a rethink. Sister, are you asking me to take up the job? Mom, take it up. That's what I'm saying. Just relax. Let's watch. Let's just watch things. Play fool. Take the job. You know I'm your elder sister, I can't deceive you. I'm going to take this job because of you. I understand, Nuna. It's well, I know you must be hungry. Come, let's go. Let's go, Nuna. Very hungry. Are you serious? Yeah. My own brother. Ordinary manager. Imagine that. Uh -uh. I don't blame him. How did it go with my brother? He is your brother. He should have called you and told you what transpired in the office. Anyway, let me sound this note of warning, which I'm sure you will convey to him. I do not want him anywhere near this palace <laughs> until he has done what I asked him to do. 
I don't understand. I mean, how can you ask my brother to come see you in the office only for you to return and you're warning me that I should go warn my brother not to... I don't get it. So what was the meeting all about? I'm asking now. At this meeting, I want you to stand for the truth. Say the truth. Look Udemba in the face and tell him that he does not own the land. The land belongs to Izuako family. Yes. Uh, well, the point is if, uh, if you think he's not going to do what you want him to do, uh, leave him. When I return from Abuja, I will deal with the situation. Yes. Okay. Okay. So when I return. Okay. Your Majesty. Yes. Ah. Dude, honestly, I'm not even comfortable you going by the road. True. No, I'm not going to. Uh, I'm not going by road. I'm. I'm. I have two tickets booked at the airport, so I'm flying. We are flying. Yes. We, flying. Yes. We. You and who? I'm flying with the driver. Ah, uh, no, that's too much now. Go by air. Yes. Why the driver drops you at the airport? Then he can now go by road. <laughs> There are places he will take me to in Abuja. So I will pay for, I have already paid for two tickets anyway. So we both travel to Abuja. Yes. <clears throat> well, all right. I better go before I. You miss your miss flight, my exactly. Flight. Good. It's all right. I'm not against anything, just I'm considering yeah. you, you know. <laughs> That small boy you used to know. Mm -hmm. That boy you used to beat back in the day. <laughs> You're a very old man now. Yeah? <laughs> Stop stressing yourself over nothing. Now look who he's talking. Uh. See my old papa grey hair. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. My friend, you need a good wife in your house. Somebody that will be preparing your meals. That's what you need. Let me shock you, sister. Please go on. I have someone already. And why haven't you told me? Hold on. She makes the best of meals. If you taste her food, Aww. trust me, you forget yourself. I'm telling you, look at me. Do I look like someone who's not feeding well? Hmm? You look good, actually. Mm -hmm. I hope the person is not doing kaname, trying to tie my brother down. All those, all those girls that, you know, Words, milliskates up and down, show tummy, show back, show boobs, cleavage and everything. I don't want them. Mm. Get yourself a decent wife. That's what I'm talking about. All right? Just ask me to go into the street and get you all those people that sell pyota. 
or the ones that sell um, abalumo. Hey God. Or abacha. <laughs> yes, they're all covered. Veggie Mary outside and um, um, sister, whatsoever inside. Please, I'm not doing that. Mm. This is a new generation. I know. We don't operate like that. Gen Z. Yeah, Gen Z, bad. Gen Z. <laughs> Story. Mm. My friend, listen, I'm not joking. Get yourself a good wife. I'm here, your elder sister, to guide you. All you need is a, you know, a very decent girl from a good home that will sit in the kitchen, do pound the jam, pound it herself. That's what I'm talking about. Very pretty girl, like your elder sister, you know. Do you know they don't have machines that pound yam? I mean, right now. No, forget the machines. So you want me to get someone that will come and start pounding yam? Doesn't matter. And one day she'll pound me. No, no, <laughs> I don't want that. All those girls that have yam on their legs, their hands, everywhere, they look like men. Do I, I have? don't want that. Please. Don't I used to pound yam? You're on a soft yam now. You know <laughs> that kind of yam you used to pound. You're not a serious human being, Frank. I'm very serious. <laughs> I don't want that kind of person in my life. Buddha guy, Look how fresh you're looking, my guy. I know they're jealous of you. They're jealous of For what? I don't go see minister. I mean, I know they're the same level again. Did they show for your body? You'll be, you be common, ordinary palace guard. Uh, like Fedra. Fedra palace guard. Uh. They insult me, your coro. I know they insult you now. You're jealous. My guy. <laughs> Enough of this long talk. Now, let's talk about your wife to be. When are you bringing her over? Because I need to see this person. I wouldn't want you to make mistakes, please. It's all right if you insist. I'll bring you over by the weekend. That's it. So you get to meet her. Mm -hmm. Believe me, mm -hmm. let me rest finally. <laughs> of course. That's what you should do. Mm -hmm. I'm That's going to what... do that. Mm. I will. I'll no bring problem. You. No problem. No problem. So, by the way, mm. do you even like this ring? I love it. For real? Yeah, for It real. doesn't taste good to me. Mm -hmm. Who do we have here? <laughs> You're welcome, Your Majesty. Oh, my lady, um, mm. Oh, my lady. How was your trip? Mm. Mm. How was your trip? It was okay. Ah. So, how are you? Very well. Very well, as you can see. <laughs> Greetings, Your Majesty. Ah. Oh. In the room upstairs. What have I done to him? What in God's name did I do to him? Relax. You didn't do anything to him, okay? Drink up while I go see him, okay? I'll be right back. Don't just, don't feel bad. Okay. 
Your Majesty. Why? What's the meaning of the coldness downstairs? What has my brother done to you? What has he done this time? Check your time. 2 p.m. So? 2 p.m. 2 p.m. He was supposed to be in the office. Oh. 2 p.m. and he was literally sleeping, relaxed, and exchanging stories with you in the parlor. 2 p.m. Your Majesty, are you forgetting that this boy is my brother? My only brother is just that boy and I. Why? I mean, oh God have mercy. You indeed hit this boy. I'm telling you, but that's not nice. Me hate Frank? Of course. No way. No way. It's obvious. No way. Of course, Your Majesty, it's obvious. I hate Frank? Oh, come on. I hate Frank and made him the general manager of my company. I hate Frank and heaped on him that, that elevated responsibility. Let Frank work. Let him prove himself a man. Yes. Listen, Your Majesty. That boy is really working. Just that you don't want to see it. Boy, boy, boy. Did I hear you right calling Frank a boy? Of course. He's a boy. That's my younger brother. Frank a Frank, a boy, a boy. Well, let that boy work. This is wickedness. This is wickedness. Listen, if you haven't done anything, just believe me. Relax your mind. Okay? Why does my own in-law, my sister's husband, hates me so much? Why? Frank, listen. His majesty doesn't hate you for any reason. Listen. Do you know how he behaved? He wants everybody to be like him when it comes to business. I'm telling you. He was not expecting to see you here, rather, at the office. But I did nothing wrong coming to see my sister and the prince. I wonder. Knowing full well that he traveled. Of course. I did nothing wrong, sis. Nothing wrong. I'm telling you. Um, I think it's just uh, the Abuja trip. Let me just put it that way. You know, I think it's stress. So, let him relax. I believe he will come out of the mood. Meanwhile, I want you to start going, please. This cat and mice chase between the Igwe and I is just getting out of hand. I Obviously. don't like it. I Relax. don't. It's Relax. not nice at all. Relax, Frank. I assure you, uh, you and my husband will become best of friends. I will be in the next war, not in this war. No, don't talk like oh. that. Frank, Your Majesty. This is not the best of time for visiting. Um, you are supposed to be in the office now. Because this is office hours. So, I want you to get back to the office right away. Frank. Mm. 
Well, why don't you sit? Sit for what? Why would you walk my only brother out like that? His family. Hello, hmm? we take this one. Hi, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, Abuja. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, you take this one. Hey, BJ! you're special now. So, yours has to be good for uh, hmm. uh, Wow. Uh, so, you finally went to the minister's office with Igwe. Look at this one. I did not just enter that office. Mm -hmm. I greeted the minister and he responded yes. accordingly. Good. Yeah. So you mean you entered the minister's office, you even shook hands with the man? Even so our almighty has responsibility in Abuja. You don't understand. Let me show you. See this money? Mm. The minister gave it to me when we were leaving his office. Kai! Woka Abuja! We do! Wait, wait, wait. Oh, you see. Wow. It's, it's okay, it's okay. It's see new money. Oh, wish away you. Look at her. Now you want to be a man. Can you be a man? You can never be like a man. You cannot even be a man. Even if they do surgery today, you can if surgery will not accept you. If they give you 10 million naira now, you cannot be a man. So just take yourself out of it, Biko. Obi, what's the meaning of all this insult? What is it? It's okay. I wasn't even talking to you. Uh, it's okay, it's okay, your girls, it's okay. You push to stop this before this thing causes another big problem. Alufo, did I say anything wrong? Uh, he did not, but it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. In fact, I don't have anything to do with you guys. I'm giving you coke now, special tea. Uh, you, stop that thing, okay? What is your problem? Must you, must you always show your jealousy at all times? I don't know. What is wrong with you? Me jealous. I'm not jealous, so, but I'm not happy with someone who is jealous of what she can never get. Oh, I understand. Mm -hmm. Your pain, eh? Because you know I like. Anyway, it's not your fault. It's my fault because I'm the one standing here and gossiping, or should I say, wasting time with you? How will you be talking with me, oh, eh? Stop this. Look at your child. Oh, they are just a quick ejaculation people. They are just very easily. Two minutes are new. Afi maaba. She should be careful, oh. Go and tell her to be careful. Eh, put You are going to. Eh, now my son name be that. That's what I'm saying, ma. Sorry, ma. Just be be, ma. Oh. Oh. See, Njeleka, I am not surprised at her reaction. Eh, cause she knows that I like you, and you like me too. Especially now that I've gone to Abuja and seen the minister. Look at me now. Eh, look at look at me. Just look at me. Okay, the kawoki si adi from head to toe. See. I'm not your regular guard anymore. As in, I'm not your regular guard anymore. I've seen the minister now. We are not on the same level. See, Njide, it would be in your best interest. Your own best interest to, it's not as if it's any other thing, to do away with all this pretense. Eh? The earlier, the better. The earlier you do away with this pretense, the better it would be for the both of us. The both of us? Yes. No. And who are the both of us here? Ah. Are you not the one I've been talking to since? You and I now. Hmm. Uh, see, Njideka, see, please, just do away with all these things, like I said before, and let's move ahead. And I promise I will take good care of you. I will change your life for the better. I mean, I will take you from this level now, this normal, regular palace maid now. I will catapult you to a realm. You know what I mean by catapult? I will catapult you to a realm, eh? And you, when you look at the transformation, you will marvel. Eh? You know now. Eh? Please, don't do don't, don't, don't they do me. Are you sure? Like, I don't want anybody that will break my heart. Break your heart? Never. If I break your heart, my bent. Mm. If I break your heart, my no waiting cousin. Why I go break your heart now? You, you know I love you. Don't they do me. Don't do me. Mm, I love you too. Yeah, really? I love you too. So, when are you taking me to Abuja to see the minister? Calm down. Do like this. Mm. Do like this. Calm down. Very soon. Very soon. First class. First class. No darling. Wow. Thank you. <laughs> hey. Hey. Thank ah. you. Enter. 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 Do it again. 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 Hey. 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 
Njideka, wonder shall never end. You wonder. So all this has been happening in this palace. Without my consent. Eh? Hmm. You, Okoro. You. Just because you followed his royal majesty to Abuja. And he took you to the minister's office. Oh, we dash, I get checking money. He dash you checking money for you to buy biscuits. Granot. Give away with the land, you understand? You feel you can use it to buy love? Eh? And as for you, I don't know what, what will I will, what I'm going to say. I don't know. Madam, I don't know what I will say to you. A man, a common palace driver, is promising you heaven and earth. Taking you to Abuja, America, this, that, and you are happy, smiling. In a merely keu. You don't have sense. I see school is very important. You are an illiterate. You need to go and face your education. Give any with the sense. You were in that body like us. You don't have sense. You have a light brain. This one that have not fed his family is the one promising you heaven and earth and you are smiling. Well, I will not say anything. I'm waiting for you just three months. About two. I tell you nine months in one year. When you when you get to that level, you understand. But for now, you don't. I don't blame well, you. I'm not done, no. I don't have anything to say to you. It's your life. Enjoy. I don't blame You're you. You're a fool. Not I don't sense. blame you. No, hug. Keep hugging. It's your people. Uh, pay no attention to her, okay? She's just killing herself for nothing. Uh, you know, all these palace busybodies now, bad belly, looking oh. for who to force her. Honestly, this insult is too much. Like, it's too much. Well, come to think of it, she might be right. Right as how now? Let me tell you. Right as how now? This, this obi, which kind of devil be this one? Eh? This guy is evil. Eh, Njide, Njide, please now. Njide. <sighs> Knocking on my door by this time of day. It's morning already. No, 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 no. Wait, wait. Let me, let me go and handle it myself. Oh, wow. Do not allow somebody to enjoy this thing. Hmm? Ah. <sighs> Come on, up with this one. Who's that? Know that this house. Mm -hmm. eh? Oh, Ebuka, hey, you even the house? I don't understand. Why, why are you knocking on my door like this by this time of the morning now? Why are you people knocking on your door this night? What is the time now? What kind of nonsense is this now? Why will you and your sister be knocking on my door by this 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 time of the morning? This this early morning. By this time, you are still sleeping. You are still sleeping. I don't understand. Am I supposed to be awake? You give All me your mates don't you. go work. You are still lying down. Eh? If you can stop wasting your time talking to this useless man, then the reason why I make me come up for you, I beg. Hey, 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 hey. You get it? Hey, Buka. Mm -hmm. Wait, wait, wait. I am now too small that your sister will not talk to me any how she likes. Eh? Because we are living inside this yard. Yeah, you know if you pay the baby. Uh, young man, I'm here to collect, uh, or we are here to collect the baby where you know they pay. Environmental B and security B. You never pay anyone. For far many months now, you never pay anyone. And you are still inside the house, sleep. Tell me when I join Vigilante. Not today. When I don't join NEPA. Today? You're asking me for NEPA B? Yes! For security B? Yes! Because See? of you, we know the get light for this compound again. Starting when? Because of me? Starting today. Yeah. 
my friend. Don't, don't, don't you ever come and knock on my door to disturb me for well, this no, kind what, of what's going on? No, 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 because of this woman, they say nana. Eh? So, you even carry woman, join body? No, I go carry man, join body. Woman, where you carry since last night? You still there with until the now? Nine o'clock? And then go soon knock? You still there with woman? With that light? Go inside, go inside, I'm coming. Let me handle this today. Hello. Come, bros. Pay your money. If not because of one thing. What enough for do you here now? So you want to embarrass me before my girlfriend? Eh? You want to embarrass me? Hey Buka, I'm respecting you. If not, what I go what I go squeeze your sister mouth now? Oh God, eh? pay you pay bill, pay ne pas bill, make you come out. She still come your girl. Yes! Money no get money no get brother, money no get sister, money no get friend. Oh God, pay your nepa be. If you pay your nepa be, if you pay your bees, nobody go talk to you carelessly. You didn't hear me? You are calling me Oga. Yes. I think you be before. Yes, so I don't too much. As you see me so, mm. I no go pay shish. <laughs> shish. You go away, girl. You lie. You go pay her whether you like it or not. You go give me the money now, now. Oh, you Oga, know. pay her. Oga, pay her money. You the entire side. Jesus. I don't understand. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Now because of you, we, we make us know the girl light for this compound. What you touch me? You even get mind. Carry woman. Day for house. Day inside room with that fan, with that AC, bros. If you pay your bill, let her go come. You go enjoy her. You go enjoy her with fan, AC. How is it? You know, feel her. How you go to carry woman day with that light? Now? Hey, Buka. I see that we're now mates. <laughs> let me tell you something. We're not mates. Mm. I have been around the world. Mm -mm. Forget that we're in this, this year together. I'm not your mate, hey, Buka. I'm not your mate. I can fuck you up right now. Oh, wow. Huh. You don't, can fuck me up. Don't touch me again. Oh, no problem. Young man, pay your bill. Pay money now. Where they go? You, you all be the, the entire inside. What did they go inside the room? Go do that. Hey, can I touch my clothes now? Okay, pay your bill. They tell me, sir, they touch your clothes. Make I not touch your clothes. Now, now you touch me now. Okay, person where? Oh, no, they go inside. <laughs> Answer me, now you touch me. Now me touch you. Now you touch me. Touch me. Okay. I'm going to you. Okay. Hey, Buka. Pay your debt. Stop, stop. Hey, Buka. Pay your debt. Pay your debt. Who will get light for this house? You get out. You see you. Hey, Buka, you leave this guy alone, don't never pay money. You the mad? You the mad? If I found you now, eh? Why you you go come here, come and charge your phone. You go come here and come and charge your phone. Lights, no, they come and charge again. I beg no shout for you, Joe. Nonsense. Nonsense, human beings. You should have just left me so that I'll teach that useless boy a lesson. I don't understand. What do you mean I cost it? I, I, I'm, I'm the reason why the stupid boy came to my house to ask me for Nepa bill. What, what kind of insult is that? You know, what kind of insult? What do you mean I cost it? What are you still doing in this compound? I mean, this local place doesn't fit you. <laughs> Did you see what those fools we are vomiting out? Babe, I understand. I know it doesn't fit me. I'm also working very hard to make sure I gather money too. I'll fix up myself now. Get a better apartment or even buy a house. Uh, after all, men, they run them now. You have to do something about it, though. You have to do so. You have to just look for a means to pack out of this place. I will. Honestly. I will, I will try my best. Gosh. No, they're just doing it anyhow. I'll talk to my uncle today, sir. I'll talk to him and get some money. It's a normal thing. He'll give me the money. I mean, I'm, I'm going back tired. to school tomorrow. I need some money. Like 500,000. This tomorrow? Yes, baby. This tomorrow. Hey. Mm -hmm. I don't have anything. I all have got. I need like 500k. Baby, it's alright. I'll, I'll see what I can do about it. Trust me. You promise? I promise you. Okay? You sure? I will. Yes, yes, I'm sure. We can still add some, like, I don't know. Maybe. Let me get this one first. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> you scared me. <laughs> I'm just joking, but 500k. I promise. Mm, I promise. I mm. love you. Love you too. Don't Go fight out. next time. Yes. Good. Type them out and 
please be fast with it. Oh, okay. Yes, the chairman, local government chairman is sending somebody to pick it up. Okay, sir. Uh, Flora, yes, sir. please. Less mistakes. Right. Put speed. All right. All right, sir. Good afternoon. Frank. Mm -hmm. I'm not working. Uncle, I was working. I, I just came to ask you for a little favor. I need a loan. I need a little loan of 1.5 million naira to rent this house I saw. Where I'm staying right now is not conducive for a man of my caliber. So I, I thought of coming to take a loan from you. Frank. Frank. You, your Majesty. Not Uncle again. Frank. Uncle. This company has approved repeatedly small loans for you. And up until the last time I checked, you hadn't paid back any money. You hadn't returned any of the loans. And you're coming here to pick up another loan. I pay you well. 250,000 Naira a month is not small salary in a manner of speaking. Can't you use it and do these things you're supposed to do for yourself. True. You have done a lot for me. You have tried very well. Thank you so much. But the thing is, the condition of the country is, is terrible. You have 250,000 at the end of the month. Before you know it, phew, it will disappear. Fuel is expensive. The cost of um, um, food in the market is expensive. Everything is just, just anyhow. That, that's the problem. Yes, in spite of all that, people still get on. People who know what they're doing, they still get on. Frank, they get on. Listen. Make savings. Make savings. You can, if you really mean to. Look at you. Somebody, anybody looking at you will know that you, there is no way you can ever save anything. Yes. See the shoes you put on? The dress you wear? The trousers, shirt? Even the cap? Frank. Your earring. Yes, earring. And the hair. This hair that makes you look like a witch or, or a girl. I think it's about, about time you, you decided whether you want to be a girl or a man. Save. Could it just new generation look? Oh, okay. New generation look. Okay, it's also a new generation every time you go before uh, whoever to collect loan. New generation loan. Uncle, please, I, I need this money. It's very important. I don't want someone to collect that house. I want to pay for it first. That, that's why. Frank, go back to your office, please. It's all right, Uncle. Um, Uncle, can I come back later? Maybe you're not in a good mood. No. Not later. Right now. Here. Sign. 20 million naira. 20 million naira? Yes, sign. I'm, I'm, I'm not with my pen. Uncle, uncle, give me, give me. I will also give you pen to sign for a loan of 20 million naira. Uncle, Frank! Yes. Why 
just asked for one Get out of here! Well, heads of divisions, and, uh, ladies and gentlemen, all the divisions are represented here. We we'll start this meeting. This is going to be a short meeting. I hereby make reference to the black dot that occurred in this company. This company has suffered a big haste, big robbery, daylight robbery. And this type has never occurred in the history of this company. This company was awarded a, a contract by Lucimatic Incorporated to the tune of 80 million naira. A file like this was opened for that contract. Then all of a sudden, the contract flew and disappeared into thin air. Whoever that did it is here among us. And I want to sound a note of warning. Something like this will not happen to this company ever again. Frank, do you have anything to say on this? Um, Your Majesty, nothing really. Um, we're still... Um, we're still making investigations and I will update you on the missing 18 million naira contracts. And I'll also update you on the progress of the company. Your Majesty, we are sincerely sorry for the 18 million naira worth of contracts we lost. I promise it will never repeat itself again. Um, sir, we promise to do our very best in the line of our duties and um, we will expose those who do not have the interests of this company at heart. Expose is the word. Expose. Expose whoever are the culprits. Thank you. Um, thank you, sir. Can you stay behind? With profound respect to you, Your Majesty, I'm here to tell you the truth. That Lusimatic Incorporation did not cancel that contract. Frank cornered it to himself.
Johnson. You know what you say? If what you told me just now is true, then I must straight away tell you it's terrible. Terrible. Very terrible. You are sure? I am very sure of everything I'm telling you right now, Your Majesty. From going as far as offering a whooping sum of seven million naira, which I rejected. Your Majesty, I'm a man of conscience. I only said to myself, well, why would I want to backstab a company that has been so good to me? They've been there for me and my family. I can't do it. Your Majesty, one more thing. If you really want to find out what I have just told you, I will implore you to go to Lucimatic Incorporated to confirm. <sighs> Johnson, thank you very much. You're welcome, Your Majesty. You're a good person. You're a good person. Keep being good. I quite appreciate Your Majesty. Your Majesty, please. I don't want you to tell him. I don't want him to know I told you anything. Ah. You can't take that from me. Why would I go discussing this issue with that? With a thief. All right, Your Majesty. I beg to take my leave right now. I need to return back to the office. I have piles of bread. Thank you. You're welcome, Your Majesty. This is nonsense. Your Majesty, what is all this? How can you address my brother as a thief? He is a thief. He is not a thief. Please. How can you call him a thief? Why has he come to this house before using a gun to threaten you? Have you heard that my brother went to the bank to rob a bank? No. Now tell me, why are you calling him a thief? In a brother light. Why? Please, I'm begging you, in God's name, stop it. That's enough. All right, if he were to be a thief, why is he then driving that cotton for a car? Money doesn't hide. I mean, you should have known that. Had it been here stolen from you, everyone would have seen him. Look at how my brother looks. Like a wretch, nothing. Yet you're calling him a thief. I mean, he would have shined. It doesn't hide. Like I said earlier, Bonnie doesn't hide. And you know why? Tell me why, please. If I tell you why, your brother is irresponsible. Very, very irresponsible. Look at him. Look at your brother. Look at him. By mere looking at him, you would know he is a no gooder. He is irresponsible, stealing all my money. Look at the way he puts his hair. 
So? Packing his hair, a man. A man packing his hair that way. Is it a responsible act? Of course not. Yes. He packs all my money. He steals all my money. But I tell you, and now I am ready. I am ready to expose him in broad daylight in front of everybody in the office. Yes. I'm ready to deal with him. You are indeed stressing yourself, Your Majesty. As far as I'm concerned, my brother is innocent. Yes. He is an ingrate. Yes, your brother, terrible and great. He swindles me. Look at that. If you took our time to go through that, you would have known that your brother is a clever thief. But I am on top of it now. I am on him now. You need no ogre warrior. I need you to prove it. Oh? There must be a proof. Are you blind? Blind to what? Didn't you read those documents, including the documents he forged, including my signatures he forged, including the bank papers? Didn't you read them? Your brother, he thinks he's clever? Don't worry. I have him by the balls, and I'm going to squeeze Brings out all those things. He will regurgitate them. He will vomit them. You will not do anything to my brother. I'm telling you. You call this proof ordinary paper. Of course this is ordinary paper. There is nothing in there. Ordinary paper? And I'm glad you even said it's forged. I mean some other person would have gotten a paper to, you know, say that my brother did something. This is rubbish as far as I'm concerned. And, Your Majesty, enough. You have insulted my family enough and I will not take it. How dare you? I mean, how dare you call my only brother a thief? In what way? In other words, you are also calling me a thief. My parents raised us well and I would not have you call my brother a thief. I have seen how your parents raised you, including your brother. Going in and out of my office, going in and out of my papers, swindling me, changing signatures, changing bank accounts, taking, I mean, contracts that were due to me, swindling them. That's what your brother did. And all those things are contained here. You know what? I'm getting close. Close I have place. gotten closer. I will show him. By the time I'm done with him. Oh, he will swear. He will swear that he's, he doesn't know me. Oh, really? I am highly disappointed sitting here, hearing my husband calling my own brother a thief. In other words, you are also calling your wife a thief. A husband to a thief. Shame on you. I will not sit back here and have you call my family names. Never will I take it. Now, where is the driver? About it, <laughs> Oh, 
have such his heart. He knows all your plans, the wages of sin is dead. God such his heart. He knows all your plans, the wages of sin. I don't know, why are you asking me? Am I not in this palace with you? husband like that when you've not treated me wrongly what, 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 what kind of lie is this now okay it's all right i believe you <sighs> oh, why, why, why would someone accuse me of this kind of thing now what kind of allegation is this? i have not even wished this for my enemies what have i done to deserve this kind of uh, uh, accusations please it's all right I just don't understand why my life is like this. Maybe I should just go back to the village and start, start packing palm candle and selling pure water. My friend, will you shut up your mouth? Who is talking about you going back to the village when your elder sister is here? I can't let you suffer. It's all right, I believe you. You know, I'm, I just said, let me ask you for asking sake. Because he, he has been telling me, you diverted, you diverted. And I said, no. Frank can do that. I can't, I can't do a thing like that. It's all right. It's all right. So where are you going? I'm, I'm going back inside the house. I'm not doing anything now. Just, just on my own. You will hear from me. Okay. No problem. Thank you, sister. Thank okay. you. Ladies and gentlemen, you are the respective bosses of your various divisions. Recall that we met here some time ago. Recall that I did report that a heinous haste crime was committed against this company. Recall that I said that one of us, one of you, committed that crime. Well, the fat is on fire. The person or persons concerned. I am dealing with them just like I am as I'm dealing with the situation. Henceforth, Frank sees this to be an employer of this company. You will no longer see him in this company. If you ever see Frank or Frank's shadow in this company, hold him. Report him to the nearest police station. If you can't do anything, you can't run to me to tell me. I urge all of you, this is the company from where we all derive our daily living. Let us work for this company. Let us not kill this company. That will be all for now. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
you may go back to your respective divisions. I have asked my brother a few questions and um, he confided in me that he didn't do that which you accuse him of. Your Majesty, accusing my brother of stealing is an insult to my person. Therefore, I demand an apology from you. You aren't saying anything. <laughs> Your Majesty, if you don't apologize to me from now till morning, my attitude will change towards you and you would not like it. You're walking out on me. <laughs> Don't worry, <laughs> you will realize you've made a very big mistake. Thank you. Where is everyone? The king went to his office and the queen and the prince is inside with Oh, oh that's fine. How are you, my darling? How is work? Thank you. Well done. The chef told me that you refused taking your lunch. Is that true? Yes, ma'am. And why is that? See, mom, I feel like, I don't feel like it's food by force. I have come. My daddy, food is not by force. Just that I don't want you to develop ulcer. So mom, mom, I need to minimize the way I eat. Hmm. Yes, because too much food is no good for everybody. And besides, it makes me grow fat and I don't like it. You're not fat already. Wow. Look at you. Right? Yes. Look at this one. How are you? Look at Mommy. Come here. Trouble, trouble, oh, yeah, trouble, trouble, so trouble. Oh my God. Come here, give me a tight fog. Mm. Why would you even mean? come back without telling anybody? Mommy, like seriously, do I need to make a grand announcement before coming to see my beautiful mother? <laughs> Barista, Mama, you should have called us first. You're in Lagos. Lagos is quite far. Mommy, not to worry. Just an hour flight, you know. Less than an hour. Ah, you're welcome, sweetheart. Thank you. Please, can you kindly take my bags to my room? Okay, Thank my Thank you goodness. very much. Yeah, we're going once again. Oh, look at you. So, how are you? I'm fine. And how is cool? Um, is Tell me it's fine because you have a pot belly. That means you're feeling and you good. you. <laughs> how is your own school and how is Lagos? Lagos is fine. I know. I missed you and miss daddy. Especially this coconut head. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> this boy. Mom, but it's cool, it's stressful. Goodness. 
Uh, that's to tell you. Nothing good comes, comes easy. easy. Like you've always said. Mm -hmm. I remember that. <laughs> Come here. So, baby brother. So have you been? Because Hello, Frank. <laughs> yeah, how are you? I missed you. What? I beg your pardon. My husband. What? Daddy? All right, Frank, just uh, calm down, okay? Calm down, calm down. Mom. I'll call you back. What happened to Dad? Mom? <laughs> Mom, what happened to Dad? Mom, what happened? Your father just sacked my brother, Frank, from his company. Why? I mean, I'm just asking the same question. Why? Why is it that your father doesn't want to see me happy? Oh. Why does he like to make me unhappy? No, Why? Uh, Mom, I think you have to calm down at this point. I mean, because Daddy's not here yet. Why don't you wait until you hear from him? He must have a valid reason for doing this, don't you think? Just relax. Daddy's very smart. He knows what he's doing. Oh, I'm really? Bad. He's smart. And I'm dull. Uh, no! Your mother is dull, Mom. your father is smart. No, no, no. Now no. tell me, what could be his reason? Mom, that's not what I mean. That's the question. What could be? Okay, can you just calm down? Because you've been paranoid. Just calm down, okay? You're not very close to daddy. And I'm sure he will tell me the reason. So just relax and wait. He'll be back soon. And I'll ask him, okay? Hmm? It's no, okay. No. It's no, 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 no. I won't say any other thing. No problem. Okay, so mom, why is your face still like this? Okay, I can see you're not happy to have me back home. So I can as well take the next flight and go back to school. And please, um, please tell them to bring my box back. Let me go back to school. My friend, what? go back to the room and rest. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. Head of admin. Your majesty. This meeting concerns you primarily. You are welcome to this briefing. Thank you, Majesty. Thank you, sir. Um, I've actually called this meeting to uh, make some important pronouncements, some promotions. Mr. Johnson Okeke has been promoted the general manager of this company. Wow! This appointment takes immediate effect. <laughs> Mr. Johnson, as soon as this meeting comes to a close, you move into the general manager's office. First and foremost, Your Majesty, I want to sincerely say a big thank you and then appreciate you for this sudden uh, promotion that you have just accorded unto me. I'm clouded right now with so much excitement and joy that I sincerely don't have an adequate word to express my my excitement. But I just want to say a big thank you to you, Your Majesty, and then to my colleagues here for being there for me, for being so supportive and very, very encouraging. A big thank you to all. And Congratulations. My amiable secretary, you're doing a great job. Keep it up. Thank you once again, Your Majesty. May God bless you, sir. Yes, yes. That office has been purged of all the evils that have been hibernating at the various crevices of the office. And henceforth, there shall not be another evil emanating from that office. Amen. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you all. Daddy.
daddy. Mommy has not been happy. She's been really moody ever since you... you sacked her brother. Dad. My dear, I sacked him. I sacked him as a last resort. I have done, in fact, I did everything humanly possible to, to forestall his sacking my company. Pillaging my company and decorating my business. I had to do what I did. Otherwise, today that business would have crumbled. He would have stolen that business, stolen it blind. The business from where I, I keep my family afloat. Dad. Dad, I understand. Trust me, I do. But all I'm asking is for you to go over to mom's room and, you know, find a way of explaining things to her the way she will understand. She's been crying in her room. I am happy you... you understand the situation at hand. And you are very understanding. I cannot say the same for your mother. Emene Nucha. Amen, Anna. Cha. Hey. I have talked with your mother. I have reasoned with your mother. I have begged your mother. I have even cajoled her. All to no effect. What do I do? Should I? Let slip the business I have. Should I not do everything in my power to leave something substantial for you, for your brother, and for your mother also, and indeed for the entire family when I get too old to work or even when I am no more? Dad. Daddy. Like I said, I understand everything. But I believe you can make mommy understand too. Hmm? Daddy, just this whiny, tiny little favor I'm asking. Just go have a talk with her in the room. Please. Please, Daddy. Mm, it's okay, my dear. Please leave me. Stop it, Your Majesty. You are indeed a wicked man. I'm sorry, but I must tell you to your face. You are wicked. You don't even care. 
or tolerate your people. What kind of a king are you? Are you not a wicked man? And you're here touching me. Don't touch me again. You're my wife. If I don't touch my wife, I'll be a gay Who will I touch? Huh? Who is your Biagiliako? Listen, Your Majesty, I don't want to push you. You know your age. I just don't want to push you at all. So let me be. Obiageliako, Obiageliako. Which one have I eaten? I'm asking you. Ken Kemlibi. Wicked man, you should be ashamed of yourself. Nonsense. Honey. My baby. What's going on? You have been moody since. I lost my job. And I'm thinking of how to start afresh. I'm thinking of relocating to Abuja. How? Why? I don't know. I got fired. Jesus Christ. It's alright. Um, a friend of mine promised to give me connections in Abuja. I just need to get out of this town, and go to Abuja and start afresh. You know. You're gonna leave me. What are you going to do in Abuja? To hustle now. Man needs to hustle. No. I want to. I need to meet new people and um, do things for myself. Okay. Um, it's, uh, and I need to go and see him now. He said I should be there by five, and I'm sure it's almost five. I mm. miss you so much. Abuja is far from me. Relax. We'll still be together. Okay. Uh, we'll be communicating. I need to go and see him now. You know, these rich people, this is how they behave. They don't like um, coming late. So, yeah. let me go and see him, okay? I wish you success, okay? Thank you, baby. Make more money, okay? I will. Love you. Love you too. Babe, I don't have time for a kiss now. Let me go and see Please wake me, please. I'm not in the mood. You don't understand. Oh. I don't hear everything where you talk. Oh. But you see that your in-law, a very wicked man, I will go light down. I mean to tell you, just travel to Abuja. Forget the rest. Me and my boys go handle the rest. The only thing they have to say, you go find out something. You know, me and my boys just take down guard. May they just stay they good. If not blow, may them blow. If not things and things, may they just do on. As for the job, me and I go handle it. I'm not shaking. I mean, they tell you now. My problem is, is that I don't want anything to link this thing to me. I don't want my sister to see me as a bad person. I, 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 if this thing cast like this, uh, how will I face the world? Bro, bro, Frankie. Let me look down on Togo T now. If you don't believe me, you go find me calm. No. Why they do like that now? It's not your in-law. Me personally, I go blow him short. You're not supposed to look me less less. When I tell you something, 
Just do them. Forget the rest. She now want to know package the job you go give him para. I don't think you say. Just spill out. My said to my boys. Every other thing that sell a man say, just go Abuja way one go. So that on high there Abuja, as a matter they stop for here, nobody go the things that you run on. They get what they tell you. Me, if I the wrong matters, I try me everything they clear. So that tomorrow you know you come meet me, they tell me say, see as be, see as be. If you don't believe me, why you find me come now? Why they do like that now? See, man, I tell you something now. Forget the rest. I deliver past Conga. Get what they tell you. Except you know get funds to pill out. I first say get funds to pill out. You see that your in-law. Ah, I write you don't set now. Why did you do like that now? If they play with Togo T, then they wind me now. No problem. How are for you? No problem. Just pill out, forget the rest. I go handle her. How far to police? What's going on now? I've not heard anything about the mission. Okay, all right, all right. Well, what do you suggest I do now? What are you saying I should do? Um, I think you have a point there. Give me till next week. I'm going to Abuja next week. When I get there, I'll call you. Yeah? Right now, I'm back. Thank you. I just want to run along so I don't um, miss my flight. No, you're not supposed to miss mm -hmm. your flight for any reason. Yes, so... <clears throat> Mommy, mm -hmm. why is your face still like this? Hmm? But we talked about it already. Look, Daddy promised to do something. And I take him for his words. Dad? Hmm? You... Oh, yes. Mm-hmm. Good. Well, <laughs> Mom, you see, I told you. Yes, All right? <laughs> you have to hurry up. Hurry up! Hurry up! So much. Driver is ready. Um, I'm sure you don't want to miss your flight. Crying. You should take care of yourselves, okay? Come on, go on. Go on. You want to miss your flight or what? Come on, don't buy me. <laughs> Shall we? Hello, Frank. How are you? Yeah, I'm doing okay. What? You? Relocating to where Abuja? Why? What for? Frank, listen, listen. Nah, nah, listen to me. Listen. Don't go anywhere. I say don't go... Oh yeah, listen to me. I will come and see you, okay? Make sure you don't go anywhere till I come. Please. It's all right.
I know. It's because of your brother. Abiageli, let me tell you. Your brother is not worth all this trouble you're trying to make. He's not. Now I know that you don't even, you don't love my family at all. You just wanted a wife and you got me. No love at all in your heart for my family. Please, let's eat. There are issues that are not supposed to be discussed on the dining table. Hmm? For your brother. After all, I can get him a job elsewhere. You get my brother a job elsewhere? Yes. When we have a company where my brother can work. God have mercy. You know what, Your Majesty? Enjoy the meal. I'll pass my habit of it. Is everything all right? Um, I'll be right back. Again, you invited me. Again? I mean, you couldn't even tell me. It was impromptu. I mean, this FK of yours will not just let you sit down in one place and concentrate. You don't even think about school, exams, and I mean, you don't put all that into consideration. You just jet off at the next available call from him. Huh? Mm, it was impromptu. I had to go. A phone call, I mean, at least to me. I was worried sick about you. Babe, I'm sorry. Oh, okay. Do you know, the painful part is that he didn't even give me a dime. But you know, I, I really hate to say that I told you. I've always told you that. When you have needs, you can always ask. You can always ask me. I'm here. All right? I'm your friend. I should be able to come in in times like this. 
instead of jumping out of school at the slightest call from your so-called FK, leaving exams and everything behind. For how long? You have done enough. You are doing everything for me. But I'm not complaining, am I? I'm not. So, how much are you looking for? I have to pay my school fees, my house rent, and also buy my handout. I just, I wish my parents were alive. I mean, it's okay. The burden is too much. No, it's fine. I'm not complaining. All right, if I say I'm your friend, that's what friend. I mean, what are friends for? If I can't help you in times like this. So, all of this together is going to cost you how much? About 250,000. See, it's too much. I still have your account number, so. Jesus Christ. 300,000. It's okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. Come on. I love you. Me too. You, you have friends. Don't say enough. Don't see anything. How am I going to pay you back? This is not for you to pay back. Come on. What are friends for? Now, you go into the kitchen and fix your stomach. Of course I will. Your bags. Your bags, your bags! Oh my God! My beautiful queen. The queen after my heart. Baby, you are my tomato, mimin chokum, asabibim. The queen of Ezinabo kingdom. Your husband is back. I am back. So how are you today? <laughs> What's your problem? Why do you always spoil for a fight? <clears throat> huh? All the time, fight, 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 fight. Why? See, you saw me come in but pretended you didn't see me. Not even to inquire concerning where I went to for the traditional council meeting. Ah, I will not fight. No, I will not. You will not fight? <laughs> Your Majesty, I am ready to fight. Believe me, I will go out of my way to fight you very well. As long as my family doesn't mean anything to you, I will fight you. Oh, that. Your family. Your family. Yes. The family from where I married you. The family for which I built a big mansion, a big house. The family from where I picked their first son, brought him to me and elevated him to the position of the general manager of my company with all the appurtenances of Power. No, I will not fight. 
No, we're not. <laughs> Why are you scared of fighting now? I'm talking about the Pharaoh one, the family. That you sacked your first son and made him unemployed. That's the exact family I'm talking about. We'll fight, oh. Of course, we will. <laughs> no. I will not fight. <laughs> I will not fight. I won't. Are you done? I can see you have nothing else to say other than you will not fight. And I will keep repeating it to you that I am willing to fight and I will fight with everything in me. I will go out of my way to fight you. Come on now, you should be ashamed of yourself. His royal majesty, yet poor people are still hungry. People that are close to you are hungry. Isn't that a shame? Relax. I think I know what to do. A day will come when I will come. I will come to that place where you people are holding your traditional realist meeting. And I will come tell them who you really are. Relax. Or better still, I will write a petition against you. Let them know who you truly really are. <laughs> I will not fight you. All right, then. I will not fight you. <laughs> So much for the breakfast. Okay. I ate in a hurry, but I loved it. Okay? Yes, and please, um, the yam and egg sauce. Yeah. Not too much pepper. Yes, All right? Please, Did you hear me? Yes, ma'am. Not too much pepper. Yes. All right, baby. Bye. See you soon. So what is the bone of contention? What is it? Listen, mom. I am tired. All right? Because I am the one at the receiving end of all of this. I am leaving for school right now. And before you see me in this house again, it's going to be very hard. Dad, I'm leaving for school. Oh. Where's my handbag? No, please, leave the handbag. Sit down, my angel, please. Can you let your boss be? It has not gotten to that. It has. Please don't do it. I'm begging. Anyway, if you want me to stay back, you know what to do. I don't understand. Mom, do the right thing. All right, princess. But I'm sorry. Were you really good? Mom.
Perfect. I mean, this makes me happy. I'm sure you're happy too. Ain't you, Dad? Is it because you look like your daddy? <laughs> Mom! Thank you. Come and sit here. Come and sit here. Oh, that's better. I love you. We're all going out together as a family today. I'm so excited, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> I am too, I am too. You see, uh, we really never had a real problem with your mother. It's simple misunderstanding. Look at her, smiling. Just leave me, Your Majesty. You don't expect me to have the same understanding with you. You're a man. Ah, ah. Look at that! <laughs> she now understands that she's a woman. Mm -hmm. And I'm a man. <laughs> I'm so happy. Genuinely so happy. Oh. Would you do this often, please, Daddy? Eh? Would eh? you do this often? Eh, why not? Please. Why not? We've started doing it. Start it, please. Start it, please. Okay. You. Trouble, trouble. <laughs> We've started that is, it. That is we'll, go ahead. Like. we'll go out again. Okay. As much as time allows. Of course. Yes. Of course. Why not? A family that actually stay together, they bond together. together. Right. Ah, they bond more. <laughs> yes. know what the problem is. Ah, my guy. Is there a problem? Let me help you push the car out. No. Uh -huh. Come, let's go. No, sorry. 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 Michael. 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 My king. Daddy! My king. My king. My king! Daddy. What happened? My king! My king! My king! My king! Oh. oh my god! Oh my god! My king! 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 Who do we call? Hello, my daughter. The queen of Ezinabo kingdom. Yes. How are you? Uh, yes. Why are you crying? Your husband? No. It's not possible. When? How? 
No, no, no. My daughter, stop crying. Stop crying. I'm coming. I'm coming. Please, please. Stop crying. Uh, driver, please can you tell us how it all happened? My elders, we were on our way. When we noticed a car parked in front of us, I went down to go know what the problem was. And one of the boys pointed a gun at me. And the other ran to the car and shot the king dead. Just like that. Just like that. Oh. Hey. You go clear to us. Clear to us. What we are doing? Hey. You go easy, manu. Hey. My Ibena boy is gone. My Ibena boy is gone. Hey. Oh. Let us one walk with a be a Galayan Gada. You go put an age, I don't know. You carry on, you carry on. They shot him dead. They shot him dead. They laid their hands on our king. Hi. Oh, away, yeah, oh. Hey, way, yo. Yeah. Oh, hey, way, yo. They were not afraid. They shot our king to death. The gods of our ancestors watched them and they saw them. Eh? Let me tell you this. They shall know no peace in their lives. He said. Yes. They shall be haunted by their own conscience Isse? until they all perish. Isse? Yes. No matter what they run in this whole world, if they run to the north, they are in trouble. Isse? To the south. <laughs> then to the east, Isse? they shall be roasted alive. If they try the west, hmm, they will all perish at once. Isse? Their generation will not know, will know anything. Isse? They cannot have a sustained generation. Isse? Their own is gone, their hope is gone, their families are gone. Whatever I tell about them is gone. Better, better. Mm -hmm. Ghost of our land. Mm -hmm. Come and judge it. Mm -hmm. My king, mm -hmm. Cletus, mm -hmm. the king of Ezinabo kingdom. You don't die like a coward. Not that you do die in battle. You were taken on our ways by brutish men who murdered you on cold blood. You are not a coward. A brave and pragmatic king you wear in your generation. We celebrate you. Whether alive or dead, we are celebrated. Rest in peace. While your, your, your executors we rest in pieces. <coughs> My queen. It is said that um, the very good thing you do for the dead is to bury him. Our late king, your husband, was a very good man. He doesn't joke with us, his cabinet members. Okay. He loves us so much. And this is the time to reciprocate the love he has for us. Mm. To this end, we, his cabinet members, have decided that we'll not just sit down and sleep as if it doesn't concern us, but we must wake up and go all out to make sure we unravel the mystery behind the sudden death. Traditionally, we are going through traditional means to make sure that we fish out them that are involved 
in the killing of our king. And we will catch them. And they will suffer the recompense of their wickedness. That is it, my queen. Oh, no. My queen. Thank you. Thank you so very much. You have spoken well. My elders, I thank you. Thank you all so much. What you people are doing is just the right thing, I must confess. You're doing the right thing, and I cannot stop you people from doing what you feel is right and what I feel is right. But truth be told, I am a Christian. There are some certain things my Christian faith is against. Therefore, I will not engage in anything tradition. Rather have decided to leave everything in the hands of God. Those that murdered my husband, let God judge them. That's all I have to say. Hmm. Our queen, you have spoken well. But let me tell you this. We will do what we want to do. And there's no going back. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. But please, take heart. And leave the fight for the gods. To fight for we elders of the land. <laughs> but I want you to know that no one, no one will kill our Igwe, his royal majesty, Igwe Cletus, and go scot free. Never. 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 It's not possible. It's not possible. Christianity or no Christianity, we will go ahead and do what we are going to do. Hmm? Your Majesty, please, our Queen, just allow us. <laughs> The king is in trouble. The pressure is too much I'm tired of you. Leave me alone. Such is heart, he knows all your plans. The wages of sin is death. God such is heart, he knows all your plans. The wages of sin is death. God such is heart.